the Facebook pixel. Why you need to know about this for your business. Guys, Kim here today from Your Social Voice, and I'm gonna to talk to you all about the beautiful Facebook pixel. Now, why is this so important, right? And I think the best way to start this off is that people go, what is it? Like, what, what, what do you mean the pixel? Like, it's not a pixel like on a screen. What it actually is, is a little bit of code, a little bit of tracking code, right? A little, little, little piece here that literally will just sit on your website and you put it on your website and then you can use it, right? And people go, what do you mean you can use it? What does that mean? How does that happen? Well, a lot of the time we use it for number one, tracking and number two, retargeting, right? But I don't want everyone to get confused here and hear all these big words and be like, oh, tracking, retargeting, pixels. This all sounds really, really hard and it's not meant to be, okay? We will, literally what happens is we put this little piece Right, this little piece of code uh, is very short, it's like about five lines, and we put this onto our websites. And then what happens is every single person that goes to our website, right? So we have a website here, right? There's a video of us, and then there's a all this cool information, and then we've got all these photos, and all this cool stuff, right? All these amazing things. What happens is anyone that goes to this website, so we've got Bob over here, Bob goes over, jumps onto our website. Then what happens is that little piece of code gets activated, right? It gets activated and it says, hey, boom, Bob came to this website. Bob came and visited us. We need to do something with it. So now that we know Bob's been here, Bob, using that pixel, using that little piece of code is now tracked and tagged as someone who is engaged with our stuff. Right, someone who has engaged and gone onto our website. Right, so this could be a website, this could be a funnel, it could be um, anything, yeah, lead page, all the same things, right? Any sort of uh, website or asset that you have on the internet. Now, Bob's had a little tracking code added to him. So what that means is when Bob goes to someone else's website, or Bob goes anywhere else around the internet, Bob goes onto Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Bob goes across and he visits, uh, visits news.com.au. He goes to all these places. What will happen is we can go, hey, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Google, we want you to start sending our advertisements to Bob when he hits these places. We want him to start being tracked. He comes down here, we want him to be able to see our ads. So what that means is that when someone comes and visits once, we now can follow them around the internet, regardless of where they go to. We can start to track them, we can start to follow them, and we can start to literally just follow them around everywhere they go on the internet, all because we had this pixel on that website. Now, each one, the Facebook pixel is one, but if we wanna do all of these, we'll actually have to have a couple of different pixels. We might have to have one for Google, we have one for Facebook, Instagram, you can use one for LinkedIn as well. All of these different platforms have their own little piece of code that you can install into your website to track people around and chase them around the internet, which is pretty cool. So what we wanna do when we, when we have all this in place is then we go, great, now we can retarget them. We've tracked what they've done. We know that he came to our website and then he, maybe he opted in, right? Maybe he left his details and he left them for us to be able to interact with him. If that's the case, then we know where Bob started off, where he got to. We know that he opted in and left his details or he didn't. Now, the, astro the big thing to remember here is privacy first. Privacy first, thanks Mark Zuckerberg, right? We can't tell that it was Bob. We can't tell that it was just Bob. What happens is each of these platforms give you a pool, right? Let's just say we've got a big swimming pool up here and they put everyone in there. So they don't tell us Bob, Mary, Jane, Peter, Kim did it. What they tell us is that you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, you've got all these people that fit into this pool that have visited your website. So then you can serve other advertising to them. They don't tell you specifically Bob did it, Mary did it, Jane did it. They say this group of people were the ones that went onto your website and this is what happened to them. This is this pool of people and then you can serve them ads around the rest of the internet. You can follow them around, right? And see exactly what's going on with them, right? Which is, which is cool. So 
The benefit of having this is that we can now start to leverage, because when we spend money, we're spending money to send people somewhere. We want to take advantage of that, right? We don't want to just spend it and go, oh, hopefully they take an action one time. Cross the fingers. We want to make sure that it happens every single time, right? We want to make sure that consistently, consistently, they are able to be targeted. They're able to be um, shown ads. They're able to be leveraged around the internet, right? Now, that's what and why it's so important. How do you go about it is literally in every platform is very, very simple. You can literally just click into it and go pixel, right? Or tracking and it will give you that code to then install. If you don't know how to do it yourself, right? You can always send it if you have a developer or if you have a team, you know, we're always more than happy to help people out. Um, you can, at any point in time, if you need help with anything you see, just head to www.certifiedballer.com.au. That's www.certifiedballer.com.au and we'll help you out with this. Because it can be tricky. At times it can be tough but we want to ensure that you get the absolute best result possible for your business, right? We got your back. So if you liked what you've heard today, guys, please give us a thumbs up. Give us a cheeky uh, like on, on, uh, on this video. If you didn't like it as well, give me a thumbs down. That's cool. I take constructive feedback well. Uh, and then make sure that you subscribe and you turn notifications on so that we can show you these things before anyone else. You get it first, right? We want to help you. Uh, get tremendous results in your business before anyone else. And then if you have any feedback, if you want to tell us about videos you'd like us to make for you, any content that you'd like to see, just make sure you drop a comment down below and let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out with anything you have and any questions around this too. So guys, until next time, I am Kim Barrett. You guys have all been awesome. Adios.